In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test the run capacitor for your furnace blower fan. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go change and get this done. Come on. Sometimes preventative maintenance is about trying to identify issues before there's a problem in the middle of a cold night. One of the things that you should test at least once a year is the run capacitor for your furnace blower fan. A blower fan is what moves all of the air back and forth throughout your house. Motors pull a lot of electricity and they need help from a capacitor. A capacitor can go bad, but before it does, it'll usually warn you uh, if you know what to look for. All you need is a meter that'll actually measure microfarads and you can do this yourself. If you have that meter, I'm going to show you how to test a run capacitor and how to tell if a run capacitor needs to be replaced. Not all furnace blower motors have a run capacitor. Higher end ECM motors won't have one. So I'll show you where to look for it and how to tell if yours actually has a run capacitor. Most of the time, the run capacitor is attached to the blower assembly like this. This is the run capacitor. The blower assembly is in the part of the furnace nearest the filter. Before we get started, we want to turn the power off at the switch or the breaker. Once you have the power off, you can remove the doors and expose the blower fan. It's a good idea to take a picture of how the wires are connected so that when you put it back together, you can hook it up the right way. Even when the power is off, a capacitor can still hold an electrical charge. In order to safely discharge a capacitor, take a screwdriver and put it across the terminals of the capacitor. Now, when you're looking at the capacitor, if you see bulging or something leaking out of the side, you can skip the testing step and go straight to replacing it. But if it looks okay, the next thing we wanna do is test it. You should see a label on the side of the capacitor that has some numbers. It's important to be able to see those numbers. So this capacitor, I can see them without having to take the capacitor out. But if you look at this capacitor, you can't see the label. So you would have to loosen the strap and pull the capacitor out in order to see the label. The label on the side of your run capacitor has a microfarad number and a tolerance represented by a plus or minus number and a percentage next to it. This tolerance means the capacitor can do its job without damaging the motor as long as it's within this range. The numbers on your capacitor might be different, but the way that you determine if it's good or not is the same. The first thing we're going to do is a little bit of math to find what the tolerance is. This capacitor is plus or minus 6%. So to get the plus 6% number, we're gonna multiply the microfarad number times 1.06, and that'll give us 21.2 microfarads. To get the minus 6%, we're gonna multiply the microfarad number by 0.94. That'll give us 18.8 .8 microfarads. Again, this is the tolerance that the capacitor can safely work between. So before you test it, remove the wires that are attached to the capacitor. If they're a little stubborn, you may need to use some plier to get some leverage. With your tester set to measure capacitance, place a probe on each terminal. You'll get a number on your meter and compare the number on your meter to the tolerance range that we just calculated for your capacitor. This capacitor is reading well within the range that it should. Now this is a newer furnace and the capacitor is still strong, so there's no need to replace it. If the capacitor was out of range though, you should replace it, even if your system is still running. The longer that your fan runs on a weak capacitor, the more it shortens the life of the fan motor and it's not cheap to replace, especially when you compare it to the cost of replacing the capacitor. If you need to replace it, all you need to do is get a capacitor with the same microfarad readings and put that back in instead of putting the old one back in. Hopefully yours is okay and you don't need to replace it. For now, if you had to pull your capacitor out, go ahead and put it back in. We'll button everything up and turn the power back on. As long as you have a meter with a microfarad setting, you should be able to test your capacitor. If you don't have one of those meters, don't worry about it. As long as you're having your furnace serviced once a year, the technicians that come out to perform a tune-up should test the capacitor as part of that service, and they'll let you know if it's out of range. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, press that like button so that we know you like the videos we're making. And if you do like the videos we're making, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you get notified next time we release a new video. Until next time, good luck with your next project. And remember, if you ever feel like you've gotten in over your head, stop and call a technician you trust for some help. Thanks so much for watching. See ya. 
Hey, if you like listening to podcasts and you like learning about how the technical systems in your home work, consider checking out our podcast in the house. We release new episodes every Tuesday, wherever you listen to podcasts. We also upload the videos here on YouTube. So if you'd like, you can check those out as well. But I bring in plumbers, electricians, HVAC technicians, and we pick one topic like water heaters and me and the plumbers discuss it. That's really meant to be informative and it's meant for you guys to enjoy and listen to. Anyway, check it out.